so beautiful and I tell her every day to my channel what going on what I am saying I am serene and today's video is as you can tell a cooking video so I have not made a cooking video in like a minute so I decided like I'm, I need to make some meatballs because I pre-make all my meatballs I make them from scratch so I was like mm, I should film this so that's what we're about to do um, I think my meatballs are amazing everybody likes them I'm a chef you know I mean Pat, pat, pat. Hey guys, don't mind my bra straps. Like, you know, I'm cooking. But anyway, so we're making meatballs, and I usually mix my meat in my meatballs. Usually, I do like one kg of beef, um, maybe 500 kgs of pork, and then 500 kgs of veal. But we are not doing that today. I am just using beef and pork because that's what I have. That's the mince that I have on deck. So I have one kg of beef and 500 kgs of pork. And um, the pork is 5% fat. And this one is like typically 20% fat. I try to get the ones that have like the most quantity of fat in it because that keeps the, the pork... The, that keeps the meatballs moisturized and soft and succulent. And you know right, Like... Cook healthy but enjoy some fat, you know what I mean? Maybe that's why I'm this size, but you know, it is what it is. And we are going to be putting some Parmesan in it. This is what I put into it all the time. Um, with breadcrumbs, um, seasoning. I also put parsley and I have salted onion. So I have one half of a red onion and one shallot. And I just sauteed these, get the get it soft and I also put this in to oops into the meat but you know what let's get into the re video so you can see exactly why I add into it obviously I'm I have nails on my hands today so it will definitely be gloves because you know I'm cooking for me but still gotta be clean so we get right into it so as I said we're gonna be using parsley or sauteed onions and you want to saute these before you actually start because you need them to cool now you can't go and burn yourself we have grated parmesan cheese breadcrumbs seasoning um two eggs that are trying to roll away then we have black pepper and we have some garlic powder and we're just gonna get to it actually i'm gonna put some um basil in the side as well normally i would use fresh basil but i don't have fresh basil so i'm just gonna break it up a bit um it's very cold so don't be like me please take it out of the fridge <laughs> it's very cold my fingers are so cold okay so this is very easy to make you just want to literally just pour everything into the bowl there's no real method just get stuff in and um like you should know i don't do a lot of measurements how much parsley is this a big handful or to my my taste i don't know <laughs> how much black pepper am i gonna put in we don't know i hope you guys can see me adding the black pepper here yeah. And I know people will be like, oh, black pepper makes things spicy. I don't know what black pepper people will be having because it doesn't. We're going to put some garlic powder. Not too much of the garlic powder. That's the only thing that you should be mindful of. Not too much of the garlic powder. Maybe a good two to three tablespoons of garlic powder. And we're going to get our complete seasoning in. And the reason why I use complete seasoning is that salt is generally a heavy thing. Like... While this is going to give some salt, but it also going to give some flavor. If you just use plain salt, like your without measurement, and obviously you can't taste this, it's kind of easy to over salt it, and you do not want your meatballs to be over salted. So this is usually a safer bet. Using raw salt tends to cause food to be too salty. That's the reason why you never really ever see me cook with just raw salt. Some basil, because basil is the hub for the gods. I'm going to just try and mix this in a bit. 
before I add the egg and the breadcrumbs. And when you have a look at it, you can tell, like, does it have a good consistency, like a good, like, dispersion of all the ingredients that we've used. And I think it does. So you can see a bit of the cream. And it smells amazing already, I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, because of the amount, I am gonna use two eggs. Obviously, if you're making less, you want to use just one egg, it won't be necessary. I know in some recipes, some people make it with milk. And I use golden breadcrumbs. I don't know why golden, but it's just the ones that I always end up using. And just go into it and mix and squeeze and mix and squeeze. I mean, if you guys have kids, you can even get your kids to get involved in this, like put some gloves on them and kids like to play up in stuff. So put some gloves on them and just have them have a go at mixing their dinner. And then they're going to even be more inclined to want to eat it because this is something that they have made. So a good test is you can put some oil in it, but seeing as though I've fried down the onion, I don't think it's necessary for me to put any oil in it um the way i test it is if i can put it into a ball and it remains then it's good obviously this is a big meatball but we're not going to make them that big but if i could put it into a ball and it stays that is technically a very good indication that it has been mixed properly and i don't need any more egg or break from or anything like that so at this juncture guys this smells so good uh, at this juncture we put in some parmesan cheese and i would just say maybe three to four tablespoons of parmesan cheese but all of that depends on the amount of meat that you decide to use and now i can get this mixed in And really, my way of mixing is literally just grabbing it and squeezing. <laughs> I don't know if you can have a look at it and you can see the bits of Parmesan cheese in it. And this is what we're looking for. Also, you don't want to over mix. So at this juncture, I'm going to stop and then I'm going to start balling them up. So see, it's literally been about six or seven minutes. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Simple, easy. The hardest part is baking them. I bake them, I know you can fry them, but I prefer to put them into the oven. Um, it has a lot of fat in it, it's gonna release its own oil, so there's no reason for me to want to fry them. So there's fat in this, we don't need to add more oil to the dish, so we're gonna just put this into the oven and have them bake and periodically turn them so that they get brown all over. So I've cleared up a bit and now we are going to I have this one calorie spray thing and this is what I'm gonna use just because it's, it's just to prevent it from what you call it sticking and then also the meatballs have their own fat so I don't need to put no heap of oil into it and now we are going to follow the meatballs okay. trying to roll them in the gloves it's very hard so one down, how much ever to go. So guys, this is the first batch going into the oven. As you can see, uh, 20 on each, so 40 so far. I still have another um, left, another set left in this. So these are gonna go into the oven. I think I'm about, get about like 60 to 70 of them. Yeah, so these are going into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. It doesn't take long to cook. Just remember to turn them every five minutes so that they get brown on either side. 
and that's it so into the oven they go i've had my oven preheating it's on fan assisted at 180 degrees celsius so into the oven they go and then we will take them out and see what they look like so guys welcome back the meatballs are finished like i just ate one <laughs> i could not wait so let me just show you guys what it looks like so um i got about 65 Meatballs all about small to medium size. The rest have frozen, put into the freezer. These ones I stewed down in my homemade pasta sauce. And if you have not seen my homemade pasta sauce, it will be linked in the iCards or down in the description box. But guys, ooh, mm -mm -mm. like, like, oh, look, just, just look at that homemade you know exactly what's in it no preservatives no nothing you make it yourself you know how much oil how much fat how much everything oh mm. it's amazing it's amazing so guys thank you for watching i hope you come back to view another video from me if you have any suggestions leave them in the description box and I'll definitely be getting to it. Um, guys, I'm going to finish this. Bye. Thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed watching me create this, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. If you'd love to see me create anything of your choice, if you just leave it in the comment section down below, I'll be definitely picking it up. And thank you guys so, so much for all the support. And remember, bon appetit.